Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Oh, oh no. This is even worse than the other Doki. When stuff shut up. Freaking shut up, Facebook. Oh my gosh. Well, would you look at that? They've got a new time screen. That's so nice. Uh, anyway. Hello everyone. Jersey here. And uh, today. Yeah, we got some Doki new eyes. I just kind of woke up. I thought it was gonna be kind of chill, but then I forgot Monica broke her ankles. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna be here now playing through more of this. So, oh, oh, actually, guys, by the way, you know, uh, the jumping bean pets I had, uh, well, um, they kind of hatched, but I completely forgot about them. And, uh, let's see, can you see that there, right there? Yeah, they freaking died. As you can see there, right there. Oh, poor guys, I kind of feel bad for them. Oh, but don't worry. You know, I got a lot of pals. Like, you see, I got a new friend, actually, so you don't gotta worry. <sighs> see? Yep, he just chilling Hello with there, me, peasant. so, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, let's just get started. By the way, guys, uh... It's Wednesday and they canceled school because it's um it's negative 22 degrees outside and I can't feel my feet. I turned off the heater just for you guys so there's no background noise. So yeah, let's just let's just get right into it. Oh, hey. Okay, who's this talking? One more. I just can't get it right. Oh. I throw what I wrote just into the bin. Okay, so it's normal. <coughs> oh shoot, this is gonna be a world without Sayori though. So I just can't write a proper poem. Oh shoot. <laughs> I don't know how long I've been writing, but I won't stop until I get something I'm satisfied with. I haven't slept at all. It's not my fault, it just doesn't wanna work. I try again repeating the same ideas I've been thinking about for the last six hours. I feel it. I'm almost there. Just a little bit more. Suddenly, my phone lights up. I squint my eyes to read the displayed name. Mom. I hesitate for a few seconds before declining the call. Oh. <laughs> oh. I don't have time for this. I won't allow myself to do anything until I finally finish writing. As so I write the last sentence, I drop my pen in disbelief. I did it! I read the poem a few times, admiring my work. This time, it's the right one. I can feel it. I sigh with relief as I put the poem in my notebook. A quick glance at the clock indicates that I should hurry up. I put on my school uniform and I grab my cell phone. I can just call mom back sometime this week. That shouldn't bother her, right? Oh, my hands. <sighs> I hurried down the stairs to the living room. Nice. I opened the window. Cool. It's unexpectedly hot outside and I just feel uncomfortable here. Yet another sweaty day. Oh, I kind of wish it was a little bit hotter out here. I'd make myself a correct meal if I had the time, but I spent too much of it writing my poem. This girl never eats! I have no regrets, though. Giving up isn't part of my personality. Really, now? I stop by my bookshelf as I keep eating, getting ready to leave my house. Mm, I'll be going to the literature club today. Even though I feel exhausted, I'm looking forward to it. I feel like joining this club was a good idea. <sighs> my life's already much more interesting now that I have something to look forward to. Oh my gosh, so this is actually way back before. Mm-mm-mm. Alexa, would you like some hot cocoa? Are you trying to kill me? <laughs> I look at all the books I have in the bookshelf. And none of them look that interesting. Except maybe... <laughs> Portrait of Markov! Hey! <laughs> I've read it quite a few times already, but I can't get enough of the story. I always get the same chills no matter how many times I read the same part. It's always the same. I smiled to myself as I grabbed the book. Oh, heck, man. After stuffing it in my bag and finishing my improvised breakfast, I decided to finally get going. As soon as I step out, I'm overwhelmed by the heat. 
How can it be so hot this early in the morning? I just want to lay down and rest. I hate this kind of weather. Mm, I, I'd rather take that to right now, to be honest. As I keep thinking about how good the world would be without hot weather, I spend I spot a familiar silhouette in the distance. I think I, I think I can guess who this is. is it Natsuki? And of course, just as expected, Yuri. Oh, <laughs> this girl's high-pitched voice resonates in the entire street. Isn't she worried she'll bother everyone else? I wave at her. Hey, Yuri, hi! As usual, she has that cheerful tone of hers. Oh, that's nice. Natsuki and I have always been friends, but we're polar opposites. So y'all have always been friends. Wow. In fact, I think it'd be better to qualify a relationship as simple acquaintances. Oof. Ever since we started going to the same club together, she's been awful clingy with me. Awfully clingy with me. Not that it bothers me, but I don't think she understands most of the things I enjoy doing. Nor do I understand what she likes. Manga. <laughs> Hello, Natsuki. A bit late, I see. Ah, uh, yeah, not my fault. Don't blame me. I have my circumstances. Oof. I shrug. I still don't exactly know what happened in Natsuki. I just know she has an abusive dad, but like, I never went with her route. I went full on Yuri. <laughs> mm. I'm late too, so I'm in no position to blame her. There's an awkward silence before Natsuki finally decides to take the lead. So, shall we get going to school then? Of course. Mm. I follow Natsuki, who's happily walking down the street. How hasn't she collapsed already, being so energetic in such hot weather? Concerning her short physical stature too. <laughs> the walk to the school was full of silence. Natsuki tries to start a conversation one or two times, but it doesn't really work well. I'm not in the mood for small talk. To be honest, I just want to sleep. Every teenager. Soon enough, the entrance of the school is visible. We make our way to the main yard. Without waiting, I start walking towards my building. I'll see you at the club, Natsuki. She nods and she hurries off to her building. I guess I still have to go through a day of pointless studying before finally getting some rest. Yeah, because finals... Oh, actually, that reminds me. <laughs> um, they actually canceled school for the rest of the week. So, aside from today, Wednesday, they're also canceling it Thursday. And we don't have it on Friday. And then there's a weekend. So, you know, I'm going to study a little bit too. But it's going to be litty, man. Going to get some videos out. I'd give anything for some quality reading time. Everyone's getting ready to work. I'm the only one that doesn't get my notebook out. I don't really feel like working right now. I look out the window. The entire school looks so foreign to me. <clears throat> I don't really want to be here at all. If it were just about me, I'd spend my days reading or writing. There's no particular reason to come here. I'm not really sure of what I want to do in the future. And the only people I spend time with aren't really my friends. Aww. Sure, Natsuki is nice, but she quickly gets annoying. Oh, shoot. She being honest right now. Monica is an interesting person, too, but I feel like being the club present makes her feel a little too superior. Oh, shots fired! <laughs> I sigh. Oh, yeah, and then Sayori isn't here, so she there's, like, no hope for the club. Mm -hmm. At least I get some time to read, so that's a good thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm-mm. After a short moment, I finally decide to get a sheet of paper out. For the last 30 minutes, I've been tracing lines, making an abstract drawing even I can't understand. Oh, I'm bored. Truth is, I can't get my book out of my head. I want to read. Now! I increase the pressure I put on the tip of my pen. Is there anything wrong with wanting to leave class? I suddenly jerk my head up. Wh what? I'm the only one in the class... This girl, oh my goodness. <laughs> Don't tell me. I was so busy scribbling on my paper, I haven't even noticed that everyone had left. Isn't that sad? Like, there's no one to be like, hey, Yuri, you good? And no. Without a second thought, I get up putting all my things in my bag. Time for some reading. 
As soon as I spot the club door, I feel a surge of relief, just like coming home. However, before reaching it, I hear steps behind me. I, loud an ex I let out an exasperated sigh as I turn around. What were you doing, you dummy? I've been searching for you everywhere. I don't think this is any of your business. Dang. And who are you calling dummy? A pained look replaces Natsuki's happy re expression. Oh, I I'm sorry. Maybe that sounded harsh. It did. Anyway, is Monica here? Oh, shoot, man. It's like, your appears so much, like, more unmotivated and cold. Gosh darn. I'm hoping she isn't. She'll probably want to take part in club activities, but I just want to rest and read. Nope, haven't found her either. I'm sure she'll join us soon, though. How disappointing. Oh. I walk past Natsuki, finally entering the club room. Hey! Okay, let's, let's, just, let's just save. <laughs> the room is completely empty. I'm soon followed by Natsuki, who immediately finds the need to noisily comment. I don't know. For some reason, I thought the song was a little bit lower tone. Ah, feels good to be here! It'd be great to keep it as relaxing as possible. <laughs> For instance, yelling isn't a good technique. <laughs> Natsuki sighs and sticks her tongue out. Sorry, Miss Vice President. Would you ever forgive me? I'm not amused by her comment, but I sarcastically chuckle nonetheless. Uh, no. <laughs> well, too bad! She walks over to her, the closet and starts rummaging through her books. Well, books. <laughs> I don't think I can call manga proper literature, but if Monica accepts it, I can't go against her will. I sit down at the table and I get my book out of my bag. Portrait of Markov. I've been longing for this moment. I start reading my book, immediately feeling a sense of relief. Hey! It isn't long before footsteps can be heard in the corridor. Footsteps. Several footsteps. It's not just Monica? The club door suddenly opens. I'm back! <laughs> and I brought a guest with me! I jerk my head up. Eh? A, a guest? The person she's talking about is standing behind her. I can't really see them from here though. Who could she be talking about? We don't need new members. <laughs> uh, I think that was an error. I think that's supposed to be what Natsuki's saying. Seriously, you brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Don't be mean, Natsuki. But anyway, welcome to the club, Jersey. Oh. The boy Monica was talking about, Jersey steps forward. Ugh. <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh, hold up. Oh no. Y'all hear that music? His gaze, his eyes, just, what is this? I can't focus on my book anymore. Oh no, those beautiful red eyes, ah. Uh, that intense stare, his delicate face. Ugh, looking at him makes my heart hurt. I want to do something now, ah. Uh, <laughs> I want to get up and talk. Don't want what I'm feeling to go away. Oh my gosh. She literally went from like, kind of like, um, crazy scale. Okay, so there's, there's crazy scale. She was kind of like, she was kind of like here. But now she like up here. <laughs> my body feels incredibly hot. Like I'm being pierced by a, a thousand needles. Why? Oh. My heart slows down a little. It felt like I was stuck in time staring at his face. I shake my head. What am I thinking? This is a little weird, isn't it? Uh, at least he didn't notice. Natsuki suddenly decides to start a discussion and chuckles. It feels like time is flowing again. I decide not to stare at Jersey. So, let me guess. You're Monica's boyfriend, right? <coughs> Monica's boyfriend? Since when does Monica have a boyfriend? 
Oh, what? No, I'm not. <coughs> oh, of course. Natsuki's immediate assumptions. Natsuki. Clearly embarrassed, Monica decides to join the conversation. Uh, anyway, this is Natsuki, energetic as usual. And this is Yuri, the vice president. I nod at Jersey, trying to look as confident as possible. My body doesn't want to obey, though. It, it's nice to meet you. My voice is shaking a little. Merely looking at him makes my heart race faster than it ever has. What's happening? Yeah, it's nice to meet both of you. So I ran into Jersey in a classroom and he decided to come check out the club. Isn't that great? <clears throat> Wait, Monica! Didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? I was going to... Well, you know... <laughs> sorry, sorry. I didn't forget that, but I just happened to run into him. Oh, that's right. Natsuki was planning on making some cupcakes for possible new members. I guess I could help make Jersey feel a little more comfortable. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come and sit down, Jersey? <clears throat> oh. He stands there for a few seconds looking around him. It appears he isn't too sure of what to do. He finally decides to sit down next to Monica. I stop looking at everyone else and I walk to the closet where the tea set is kept. Oh yeah, I remember this. <laughs> I take a look into the kettle. It seems like there isn't any water left. I guess I'll have to go and fill it then. Oh my gosh. Isn't this where, um, uh, I don't know, does it happen yet? Where he walks in on at Yuri at the water fountain cutting herself? <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Kettle in hand, I walk to the club door. I glance behind me. Jersey's cheerfully talking with Monica and Natsuki. I don't want to be the only one to leave the room. I'm a little jealous, to be honest. I shake my head and I exit the club room. I can still hear them talking inside the room. I quickly walk to the nearest fountain, trying to ignore this constant feeling I'm currently having. I'm uneasy, but it's not the bad type of uneasy, quite the contrary. Actually, I start filling the kettle. Without noticing, my hands clutch around the edges of the sink, harder and harder. Gosh, I want to talk to him. I nod to myself. I'll do it. I'll do my best to talk to him. Something compels me to learn more about him, for some reason. Soon enough, the kettle is full and I go back to the club room. Okay. They're still talking. Aren't they even a little concerned about waiting for me? I sigh as I open the door. I quickly prepare some tea. I hope Jersey will like it. I walk back to the table and I put a teacup in front of everyone. Jersey's smile as I give him his teacup makes my heart skip a beat. Oh, hold up. Mm -mm -mm. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Uh, th that's not... I meant that, you know? I look away, trying not to stare at Jersey's confused look. Just who does she think she is? This is just mean. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. Wait, did I just say tea and re Oh, whatever. I'm glad. I try to smile to him to show my appreciation. I feel a sudden surge of determination. I can't contain myself anymore. I want to talk to him. It doesn't matter if the others want to, after all. They've had their time while I was making some tea. So, Jersey, what kind of things do you like to read? Uh, the wind is freaking whistling. You okay there, buggy boy? Mm-hmm. Well, uh... Manga? <laughs> Rest in peace, man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm a little disappointed by this is answered, to be honest. <laughs> I can't even... <laughs> I'm a little disappointed by his answer, to be honest. N not much of a reader, I guess. <laughs> well, that can change. I wind my eyes as I hear Jersey's statement. Would he really be willing to take the time to start reading? For me? <laughs> <clears throat> After a short silence, he clears his throat. 
Anyway, what about you, Yuri? So he's interested in what I like? For some reason, my heart hurts even more. It's almost painful. Well, let's see. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. There are so many possibilities when writing a story. Some people write because they want to convey emotions. Others because they want to create their own world. In my opinion, both reading and writing are two incredibly beautiful occupations. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? <laughs> anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a horror book once. <laughs> Monica stops me with one of her comments. <laughs> I'd expect that from you, Yuri. It suits your personality. Oh, is that so? Horrifying <laughs> indeed. I ignore what she just said. What does she mean by suits my personality anyway? Really, if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Her eyes dart over to Jersey. What is she so embarrassed about? Is she scared he'll judge her? I'm not sure he'd be the type of person to do that, honestly. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? Wh what What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! <laughs> Give that back! <laughs> I love voicing Natsuki too, though. Natsuki angrily snatches the poem from Monica's hands. Ah, childish behavior. <laughs> fine, fine. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? Jersey is now completely focused on Natsuki. I guess our conversation is over, then. As disappointed as I am, I had some time to talk to him, but I want more. I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? N no! You wouldn't like them. For once, I think I can stand Natsuki's overly- Overly? What? Over- over blah, blah. <laughs> Overly exaggerated behavior. Uh, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. <laughs> I guess it's the same for you, Yuri. Just what is Monica thinking? Making all kinds of embarrassing comments, intervening in my discussions. Being a club president doesn't give her the right to do that. I feel quite irritated by her behavior. Maybe I should tell her about it at some point. I'm sure she can understand. Suddenly, Monica snaps her fingers. Hey, I just got an idea. How about this? Nah. Natsuki and I stare at Monica with a quizzical look. I don't like the look on her face. What is she planning? Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we can share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Uh, um. Uh. I mean, I thought it was a good idea. Wait. In fact, this could end up being a good idea. If we all write poems, that means Jersey will show us what he can do too, right? Then I'd be able to talk to him more, and maybe I'd be able to share some of my knowledge with him. Yes, that sounds like a good idea. Well, I think you're right, Monica. We should probably start finding activities for all of us to participate in together. <laughs> I did decide to take on the responsibility of vice president, after all. I need to do my best to nurture the club as well as its members. Besides, now that we have a new member, it seems like a good step for us to take. They just assumed. <sighs> Do you agree as well, Jersey? <clears throat> I expectantly stare at him. 
My chest tightens a little. I don't care if this is ridiculous. I don't want to go against my feelings. Hold on. There's still one problem. Eh? What's that? I never said I'd even join this club. <coughs> Monica may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at and, uh... He stops talking, obviously bothered. So that's how it was. B but... I'm sorry, I thought... <laughs> Truth is, we need a fourth member. At first, I thought it was necessary in order to make our club official. But after spending a bit of time with our new member... With Jersey... No, I don't want him to leave just because we need a new member. I don't want to let him go because I want to look at him some more. <laughs> that sounds weird, girl. What? It's not wrong, is it? <laughs> I'm not hurting anyone. I shake my head to focus on what Monica is saying. Hopefully, she'll be able to make him stay. I guess I need to tell you the truth, Jersey. The thing is, we don't have enough members yet to form an official club. We need four. And I've been trying really, really hard to find new members. And if we don't find one before the festival... Eyeballs just disappear. It looks like there's an ongoing debate inside Jersey's head. Please stay. I don't know why I feel so emotionally invested in this cause, but I want him to stay. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. Lit, lit, lit. I'm having a hard time ex hiding my excitement. Monica, thank you. My heart feels like it's about to explode. Oh my goodness, really? Do you really mean that, Jersey? Yeah. It could be fun, right? I let out a sigh and I smile at Jersey without holding back. You really did scare me for a moment. I mean, if you really just left after all this, I would be super pissed. <laughs> Jersey, I'm so happy. We can become an official club now. Thank you so much for this. You're really amazing. I'll do everything I can to give you a great time, okay? I kind of give her a different voice, but... Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone, remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. She gently smiles at Jersey. I get a chill down my spine. Jersey, I look forward to seeing how you expressed yourself. <laughs> yeah. He stands there, not saying anything, before finally grabbing his bag that's been sitting on the floor. <clears throat> I guess I'll be on my way then. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow then. I can't wait. Jersey turns around and exits the room. Monica sighs and turns towards Natsuki and me. Sure feels empty now. Oof. <coughs> oh my goodness. They're so thirsty though. I'm glad he joined. I was sure he joined. He didn't really have any other choice. <laughs> what about you, Natsuki? It looks like you weren't too bothered by his presence now, were you? Well, I mean, I don't hate him, but I don't know. We'll see later, all right? But before that, I think there is still a few things we have to do to have to take care of. Natsuki points at the tea set still on the table. I guess I have to clean it considering I'm the one who made the tea. I'll do it. Thanks, Yuri. Ugh. While I start putting all the teacups on the tray, I notice Natsuki looking out the window. Aren't there better things she could do? Like helping me, for instance? I walk out of the club room carrying a tray full of teacups. Oh, is the thing where she gets cut again gonna happen? I put the tray on one side of the sink and I start cleaning the teacups one by one. The corridor is completely silent. It feels like the club is lacking something. It feels less cheerful. However, I'm sure everything will get a bit more interesting since Jersey's going to join us. I have no doubts about that. As I clean the cups, I suddenly stop staring at one in particular. <gasps> Jersey's. He didn't finish his tea? Is she gonna freaking drink it? I thought she was only gonna look at it because 
um, that's the one that she broke and cut herself on. I look around me. It'd be a shame to let it go to waste, right? <laughs> oh! It's too early in the morning for this. It's like 8.30. Okay. <clears throat> Nothing. She gonna be like Yandere Chan with Senpai's toothbrush. I drink up the rest of his tea and I proceed to clean it as well. Done. Oh! <laughs> I put the teacups back on the trail. I turn around to go back to the club room. It got bodied. It seems like I've tripped over something. <laughs> I wasn't careful enough. I get on my feet and I look on the ground. Ah, I broke some cups. I spot a red stain near one of the glass shards. Blood? I glance at my hand. There's a big cut on my, oh shoot. So she got a bigger cut? Blood is dripping on the floor. This feels unexpectedly pleasant. I pick up one of the shards. Just a test. I want. To, I just want to see what I'm feeling now is due to this or something else. Girl, she ain't even questioning it no more. Oh my gosh, she's gone off the deep end already. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm chuckling. I feel so good, I want to laugh. This is ridiculous, insane. But I can't say no to my own feelings, right? They exist for a reason. But what if someone sees me? I'll take care of that later. <laughs> Just stab them. I slowly start feeling normal again. This wonderful feeling surely won't last long then. How disappointing. I wonder what Jersey would say. As soon as I think about him, my heart skips a beat. Uh, I have no time for this. I've been down to pick up the mess I just made. The cuts on my palm aren't too deep, so they shouldn't be too visible. I throw the broken tea cups in a nearby bin and I walk back to the club with what's left of the tea set. What? <laughs> She's not even questioning anything. She literally just like, okay, I'm gonna just be insane now. It's good. As I enter the room, Monica greets me with a smile. Well, you took your time. Thinking about Jersey? Oh, come on. Don't say that. It just sounds weird. I'm kidding. Anyway, girls, I was thinking, since we still have a bit of time, why don't we all hang out together? There's some place I wanted to go to. I think you'd enjoy it. I don't really feel like going out in this weather, but seeing Monica's happy expression, I can't really say no. Maybe going out will help me better understand what I'm feeling. They don't notice the cuts on her hand? Okay. I'd love to. Where are you taking us? It's a surprise. Unfair. Why don't you tell us? Natsuki, stop being childish and just wait a little. Her voice is so loud I get a headache whenever she speaks. She's a nice person, but she needs to learn how to stay calm. You... Alright, sure. For a second, it looked like Natsuki was about to shout at me. Maybe I'm a tad too harsh, but I'm just trying to make her behave slightly more mature after all. Monica grabs her bag, and I do the same. We exit the room and we head straight for the schoolyard. The sun, the sun is still shining. It's still as uncomfortable as this morning, if not even hotter. Monica and Natsuki look like they're enjoying themselves, though. So, Monica, where are we going? Before I get the time to process what I just said, I know what's coming. Natsuki never misses an occasion for revenge. Well, well, Yuri. Seems like you're the curious one now. I'm merely asking because I needed to know which direction to take, not because I want to fulfill my never-ending desire for pointless knowledge. <laughs> ha! Do as you please. <laughs> I turn to Monica. So, where are we heading? Haha, <laughs> just follow me, alright? I promise it's not far from here. I sigh and nod at Monica. We follow her out of the school grounds and we take a left turn. She leads us into a small alley. Ooh, she about to delete us, man. I've got to admit that despite the insanely hot weather and the mess that's going on inside my head, this sight is relaxing. Cherry blossoms sure are something. The three of us just stand there looking at all the falling petals. Oh yeah, I remember this happening. 
Oh, it's like first we've been going so long, like I forgot what happened in Doki, and now I'm forgetting what happened in Doki New Lighting. Natsuki's the first one to break the silence. This is magnificent! I know. Wait, that's Monica. It feels different being here. Like, we're not part of a big artificial world anymore. Well, the world isn't all artificial. There are a lot of things to enjoy, you know. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess you're right, in a way. Monica turns to Natsuki and grins. So, Natsuki! Hmm? What is it? I think we have a talk to finish, right? About Jersey? Oh, come on. Cut me some slack. He's only been there for a day. What do you expect me to say? That he changed my life or something? Actually, a day is enough to start feeling something about someone you know. Hey now, what kind of stuff are you saying? Just what are you implying? God, Monica, can you just let us enjoy a bit of fresh air without trying to talk about this kind of stuff? It's really annoying, you know. Uh, I'm sorry, maybe that sounded weird. Don't be so angry, Natsuki. And you, Yuri? You haven't said much about what you think of Jersey. Yeah, it's not. I mean, she was usually kind of more nice before, but now is she getting the. Because Natsuki would become angry, you know? Like, angry, angry. Not like Sundere angry. Mm. That's the question I was fearing. Well, no need to hold back. It's obvious that you like. <laughs> Come on, don't speak on my behalf, Monica. As I was saying, I think he'd be a valuable member of the club. He sounds really motivated. I'm sure he'll enjoy learning more about literature. Wow, she's really able to hold back, huh? And on a personal scale? On a personal scale? I suddenly realize what she means. Monica, stop this. I don't know why you're being so inquisitive. One thing's for sure, it's making both Natsuki and myself feel extremely uncomfortable. My, my, sorry. I see. Well, I don't really get why you two are acting this way, but I guess it'll make sense at some point. I'll let you two enjoy a bit of free time. I have quite a lot of things to take care of. Alright. See you tomorrow. Oh, and don't forget to write a poem. I really want to see what you'll come up with. I sigh and I nod. Natsuki waves at her and Monica finally exits the alley, leaving us alone. There's an awkward silence. I'm feeling conflicted. On one hand, I've discovered things that could potentially change my life today. On the other hand, I have friends who are counting on me and I'm behaving badly towards them. Okay, I guess he's a little bit... I don't want to say, like, sane, but, like, you know what I mean. Indeed, despite Monica's insistent questioning, I ended up realizing how harsh I've been to Natsuki. That's good. I take a deep breath. Sorry. Hmm? Why are you sorry? I've been mean today, sorry. Oh, that doesn't really matter. Deep down, I know you're a reasonable person, Yuri. I can understand if you're in a bad mood or... Oh no, I'm not in a bad mood. Not at all. I touch the little scar on my palm as I think about Jersey. Ugh. <laughs> no, this is just the beginning of my good mood after all. But for that, I need to know. I was wondering, what is exactly that you feel for Jersey? So y'all just gonna do the same thing. Mm. Listen, Yuri, I don't... It doesn't matter. I just want to know, all right? I'd like to know because... Because... So your apologies weren't even real, were they? You know what? Fine. Here's what I think. Jersey's a really interesting person, and I want to talk to him more. Whether you like it or not, I'll talk to him. I've seen the look on your face. I know you were long to speak with him, and I've done my best to support you. <laughs> but right now, you're behaving like a selfish person, and that's just low. Yo. <laughs> Shots fired, man. Man, this is how it all turned out without Sayori. I can't even... She has so much in part with keeping everyone sane, for the most part. <sighs> oh. Okay, we about to say right now. I don't know anything. Oh, no. <clears throat> I'm selfish. How pathetic. Would you look at yourself? I need this more than you do. I'm sorry, did you say something? I'm boiling with anger. What Natsuki just said was mean, even more than what I said today. 
This discussion is over. Have a good evening. Before I turn around, Natsuki stops me. No! I'm sorry, alright? I'm sorry! I want to forgive her, but what I'm feeling deep down, I turn around not saying another word. I hear Natsuki calling for me behind, but I don't stop. Right now, I need to clear my head. Today ended up being too much for me to handle, and I barely slept. I need some rest. What about the poem? I don't feel like studying in the street or looking at everything, or staying in the street. <laughs> what just happened is on me. I feel guilty, but even though I feel this way, I still can't bring myself to forget those feelings of pure ecstasy. No! <laughs> I want to see Jersey more. I want to feel good again. Oh, no, no, no. I need to take some time to think about this. I sigh as I drop my bag on the floor. All right, I'm fine. It's fine. No, I'm not fine. I'm feeling horribly bad. I sit down on the couch and I bury my face in my hands. What I did today wasn't good. Cutting myself? Sure, it feels good and sure, I'd love to do it again. Oh, she just being so straightforward with that, huh, buddy? <laughs> I can't say no to my feelings. But that'd be insane. And I'm the same person, am I not? What? <sighs> I can't tell. She's just acting so weird now. So I have to stop. Okay, I'm stopping. I'm just going to focus on how to improve my relationships. I'll have to talk with Natsuki and Monica. And I'll have to get closer to Jersey. I have to. Now that he's in the club, I can't just let him slip away. Even if that makes me selfish. What am I supposed to do now? I can't just apologize to Natsuki after leaving her alone like that. I'll apologize later in the evening. Yes, that sounds like a good idea. Now then, maybe I should write a poem? I open my bag to grab a sheet of paper. Oh, I have no more, pap I have no more paper in my bag. I guess I'll find some in the office then. There must be a stack of papers. So of course, and she's gonna cut herself again. Oh, I can't feel my hands. <clears throat> I get up from my couch and I walk to the office door. I push open the door. Huh? Ah, why is it so dark in here? I swear I left the blinds open though. I squint my eyes to adapt to the dark. Oh, heck no. Monica gonna be there. Gonna freaking kill my face. <gasps> oh my gosh, guys. So, there's a preview. Uh, the My OBS preview is on the side there. And for some reason, it records it lighter than the actual screen. <laughs> and I freaking... Y'all probably see Sayori hanging there. <gasps> what is he doing? What? I swear I can see something in the dark. Yeah, it's, it's freaking Sayori. I can't make out what it is though. I fumble to find the switch. For some reason, I feel my heartbeat getting faster and faster. Something about the situation is unsettling. I finally find the switch to open the blinds. I do wonder though why for some reason the recording it makes it lighter than my actual screen but or maybe it's because actually there's a difference my my left monitor is actually brighter than this monitor so maybe that's it but that <sighs> to the no man oh sayori rest in peace bless your soul i love you <sighs> i sigh of course, an unnecessary concern. Since I haven't slept last night, I must be seeing things and overreacting to them. That would explain the way I spoke to Natsuki and Monica, right? But that wouldn't explain what I'm feeling. No amount of sleep would make me feel something that strong. Sleep deprivation generally doesn't- What? I'm recording! Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh... This one, oh. This one, make sure. I grab a few sheets of paper from the desk and I turn around. I want to leave this room as fast as possible. I feel incredibly uneasy. As I open up the door to the living room, I spot something from the corner of my... Maybe it's Sayori trying to protect you from the knives. Oh, I just broke. I just jinxed myself. Oh, the knife collection. 
It's been a while since I bought a new one. I feel a sudden urge to take a look at them. Half of me wants to, but half of me just wants to leave this room as quickly as possible. Leave! I ain't- No, no, no. I close the door behind me, making sure to lock it. Maybe this can be seen as paranoia, but I don't want to risk it. Wait, let me- I just want to see what happens if we- if we actually do it. Hold up. She could- <laughs> Girl, I shouldn't be insinuating this. It's just a few seconds. Nothing's wrong with that, right? I walk over to where the collection lies. The knives are all here, meticulously aligned on the shelves. So many of them, all so sharp and beautiful. I feel my muscles twitch. My chest tightens. Okay. Okay, I've seen enough. I'll exit this room now. I close the door behind me, making sure to lock it. Okay. Okay, so we still good. We still good. <laughs> <clears throat> um, I'm gonna load back to where I didn't do it though because I don't know if that actually affects anything but I don't want to risk it I want to give Yuri the best possible I don't know if there's multiple endings but we all gonna die anyway so let's just make the <laughs> with my sheet of paper in hand I walk back to the couch I sit down and I make myself comfortable as I start writing a few words can't i just can't bring myself to make correct syntaxes and artistic styles no matter what i do he's in my head jersey his smile is stuck in my head always 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 i don't want it to stop but i want it to stop i can't concentrate i stare at what i just wrote with a look of disgust the tendrils on my hair illuminate between the amber glow. Bathing, it must be this one. The last remaining street like to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe. Calm, breathing air of the present, but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. Yeet. It's not good enough. How am I supposed to show Jersey my poems if I write like this? It's not that bad. I just have to hope he'll like it. This is the best I can do for now. I think a good night's sleep will do me some good. Everything will be better tomorrow. Today was a busy day. I'll make sure this doesn't happen again. I lay down on my back looking at the ceiling and I close my eyes. Sleeping on the couch again? I immediately feel my body relax. Oh, I've been missing some sleep. Until my very last moment of consciousness, my mind is still focused on one thing. On one face. <laughs> Gotta pull another. Okay, that one didn't get me as bad as the other one, but still. I know when you're gonna try and pull a fast one. Huh? I swear I just heard something. I open my eyes. It's pitch black. I only hear the sound of my heartbeat. I don't wanna move. What was that noise? A door? Is anyone in my house? I can't be. can't be mom. She's away. I concentrate on my surroundings, trying to make up for the lack of light around me. Is it? I'm looking at my second mind. Nope, there's nothing there. I focus as hard as I can to listen. I can hear something. What? When did this happen? This is just like a horror. Well, I'm, it is a horror game, but I mean, it's more like a conventional one now. Footsteps. <laughs> Somebody's in my house, that's for sure. If I don't move, maybe they won't see me. Is this some kind of punishment for what I did today? No, no, fate and punishment are nothing but superstition. I have to stay calm. Everything will be fine. Think of Jersey. I breathe slowly. The footsteps have now stopped. Is it gone? Oh, heck no, man. Heck no. Oh, Monica, what you doing? <clears throat> Yay. Oh, no, that's Sayori. Oh, shoot. Help me. It hurts. Please help me. <laughs> Don't let her... Body. Jersey? What? Why is he... What? Why is he saying wake up? Yo, that was Sayori. Oh, she's still... She's still reaching out, though. I will save you. Wake up, Yuri. It's time to go. I'm waiting for you. Come on, I want to speak to you more. Jersey? What's he doing here? 
I slowly opened my eyes. My muscles hurt. It feels like I've been tense all night long. My head hurts too. I slept through the entire night though, didn't I? I look around me. I hear Jersey's voice. I get up from the couch and I walk around the living room looking for him. Jersey? No answer. He told me to wake up. He told me he wanted to talk to me. That wasn't a dream, was it? I really heard it. Come on, stop. Why would he be in your house? You should be more worried about- <sighs> Okay. Okay, it's all fine. It's all fine. Stop hiding. Silence. So he's not here. Fine. We'll see him at school today, right? He'll be there. We'll spend some time together. I sigh as I lazily walk to the bathroom. I need a shower to clear my thoughts. And here I thought a good night's sleep would make me forget. <sighs> if anything, take me- Alexa! Stop! I forgot I set the alarm clock for nine. But... If anything, taking a shower gave me more time to think. I can see clearly now. His face. It's not- it's not an obsession. This is- is this love? It surely is. People feel like that all the time when they're in love. I'm fine. I just need to see him. Okay, okay, let's do this. Stay calm and composed. It doesn't matter if I think about everything as long as I stay quiet. I nod to myself as I grab my bag. I check its contents to make sure the poem is still there and I can finally make my way out of the house. It feels incredibly repetitive. Like this is always the same scene. Same ambiance, same place, same weather, same school days. Not anymore. Not with Jersey around. I chuckle as I think about all the possibilities within my reach. If I could just get closer to him. Just a little. Then maybe we'd be able to share poems and literature. Literature. I hesitate for a few seconds before turning around and dashing into my house again. Oh yeah! I walk to the bookshelf in which I took my book yesterday. I'll pick one for Jersey. If we're going to get closer, then we better have something to talk about. And I think I've got just what I need. After a few minutes of rummaging through all my books, I finally find the one I was looking for. Yet another copy of Markov! <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I don't know if I'm right, but I think he mentioned he read a horror book once before. I hope he'll enjoy this one. I'm sure he will. If he doesn't, I'll keep trying. I smiled at myself, proud of my choice. I walked back out. Oh, okay, you know what, guys? Um, we've gone out for good crispy 55, 56 minutes, so... Yeah. Standard stuff. Yuri is officially off the rails. I don't know, she's like this weird... Like, sane, but like, not sane. Like, she, she's just like, okay, I'm kind of doing this, but like, she's not really that surprised by it. She's like, okay. Um, but anyway, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and remember, feel burned.